Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 144. Now, if we just go ahead and open up Unity and open up Model Develop, we're just going to continue on with the last tutorial. And what we're doing is going through our structure and starting to add the code to basically fill out what all these if blocks are supposed to do. So we set up the one where it checks to see if it has a key and if it does not have a key, uh, we go down and we're going to delete everything that it has saved. Uh, we're going to set the version, uh, the version key to what our current version is. And then we're going to set the level of load to be our character generator. And of course, our updates taking care of uh, loading up the proper level for us. So let's come up and let's just start going down through our little if block structure here and go to the next one. So next we check to see if the player prefs dot get float and the version ID does not equal our current version. So basically we have a character saved that has an older version. Uh, this is basically we're going to want to upgrade uh, the character save file. Now this is the one I was talking about at the beginning where uh, there's going to be times where we just want to upgrade the data that's saved in our player prefs about our character. Uh, right now we have absolutely no upgrades. So we're just starting out we're just going to delete everything there. But I do want to make a note here and I'm just going to say upgrade player prefs here. But since we have nothing to upgrade, we're just going to leave it like that. So that was easy. Let's come down. So the next is else. And the else is, uh, we'll see, it goes to this one here. So if they have the version key and the version key is equal to the current version, which our debug log statement says right here. And then we're going to check to see if the player press has the key for the player name. And if they do have the key for the player name, we're going to check to see what it's equal to. And if it's empty, that means that we don't actually have a character created. So we're actually going to want to create a character. So we can actually just cut and paste all this code in. Now, of course, ideally, you'd probably want to make a function and put these three lines in the function and then call the function down there and up here as well. But just to make things move along a little quicker, I'm just going to cut and paste it up here. So that goes right here. Oops, I want it below the debug statements. And I'll just tab all that in. And we'll come down to the next one. So we're saying if they do have the player name tag and the player name tag does not uh, is not empty uh, and that means that they actually have a character so we're going to want to uh, we don't actually need to set the version here because the version is already the same what we're going to want to do is set the load level to equal the first level and I actually spelt this wrong it's supposed to be first level so I'll come in and I'll just cut and paste that down here. And we're going to come down to this else block here. And this else block goes up to this if block. And that if block was checking to see if they had the player name key. And this would mean that it does not have it. So again, we'll just cut and paste these two lines in there. So let's back it all up. There we go. And I think that's all of our blocks filled out. So let's save that off. I'm going to head into Unity. And I'm just going to clear the console and uh, select my camera. And to start off with, I'll clear the prefs. So we start it up, and it should bring me automatically to my character screen, which it does. So let's go ahead and make a character. Uh, one thing I'm probably going to change in the character generation screen is I'm going to change these buttons to repeating buttons so we don't have to keep clicking. We can just click it once and hold it down and it should just keep filling up. Now we might have to do a little tinkering to have uh, the speed at which it fills up to be an acceptable speed but instead of just clicking a uh, you know, hundred times we can just click once and hold it down to get it to go to where we want. But anyway we'll create our character. We're going to hit create and it brings us over to our actual game level 
Uh, let me see, we'll close those down. I'll do some looting. There's my inventory. Let's grab an axe. The axe is appearing. Uh, let's check out my character panel. It's showing up there. So everything looks good. So we're going to stop it. And we're going to select the main camera again. And this time we're going to turn off the clear press. We don't want to clear the press. Now let's just start this up again and see what happens. So it's saying there is no version key. And it's saying that the level is ready, which means that we're coming to the character generation. And the level can be streamed. Okay, this is all from the main menu. And this is actually coming from... Uh, our player character class is basically telling us what the name of the items are that are equipped. And this character still has the fork in his hand. So we don't actually want that because since we have a character that we had just created, uh, we want to be able to set the version key. So I'm going to come back into Mono Develop, and we'll just follow the path that it's taking. So it's checking to see if it has the key. And the debug log statements said that there is a version key. And then the next one was a saved version. Uh, so it's, it is the same version name, but it's checking in. It doesn't have a player name key. Now I might have just called that wrong. So let's just check. So I never did check before I put it in. So we're going to go to the user. We go to the library. We go to preferences. Of course, this is on a Mac. It doesn't work this way on Windows. And if we come all the way down, it should be Unity. Uh, right in here. It should have been right in here. Now, I wonder if it's running off the local host one. Either way, I'm just going to get rid of both of those. I'm going to run it again just to see. So we're going to start it up. And I'll just do the exact same thing. I'll make sure that I actually get some data saved in there. And it's just quicker to keep filling up the one stat. And he ends up really healthy this way. So we'll hit create. It should have made my file for me. I'm just going to stop it and I'm going to go back to my finder and there it is right there. So let's open this up and there we go 120 health uh, player name is PD. So let's start it back up for some reason it might not have saved last time. I've have been having a few problems with the player prefs not loading and saving. Uh, there's no version key. Okay, so I'm not actually saving the version key when I create my character. That's the problem. But I am saving it right here. I'm just going to open up my player prefs and we'll take a look to see if it's actually in there. It is not. Let me just go open up Finder again. I'll take a look there. So there is a version key. So let's start it back up. Uh, let's clear it actually. And we'll check one more time. There's still a version key. And we'll start it up. And it keeps saying that there is no ver key. Hmm. But there is a ver key. Actually, the problem seems to be when it's actually saving our character data. And if I recall right, that's in our game settings. So let's open that up and we'll go down to where it's actually saving our character. So it's saving character data, uh, goes through. Uh, here we go. We're deleting everything that's already in our player prefs, and then we're saving out all of our character data. And that means we're actually deleting the version key. 
So I'm going to comment this out. And I'm going to go back into Unity. I'll fire it up. And let's see what happens this time. So it comes in. Uh, let me see. There is a ver key. Saved version key is the same as the current version. There is no player name. Okay. So then it tells me that the level is ready and the level can be streamed. And it loads it up and my character has a fork one mesh attached to him. Which of course is deactivated. So we'll make our character again. One last time. And now I'm, I'm probably not going to be editing out uh, some of this uh, debugging, like how I go about uh, finding what's going wrong, because I think it's actually beneficial for people to see. And that's one of the reasons why I do this kind of ad hoc, just off the top of my head. Uh, I think it's more important to see how we get to the final product than just actually what the final product looks like. So we're just going to close those panels down, quickly loot. Uh, didn't really change any code that should affect this, but let's just take a look. All right. And he's got a mace. Yep. Or a Morningstar, I guess that's just... Actually, it is a mace. A Morningstar, I believe, is on a chain. Isn't it? I'll have to look it up. I might have to change that weapon. But let's go ahead, and I want to quickly look in my... Uh, player press file to see if the version name is still there and these are listed alphabetically so it should be near the bottom and I'm not seeing version uh, let me just open it again because I'm not sure if that was the old one I opened uh, I'm not seeing version oh uh, well Let's see what happens when I start it up again. I'm just going to click on the main camera, make sure I don't have that checked. Clear. Debugging goodness. Uh, there is no version key. Ah, the joys. Uh, we'll do it again one more time. If it takes too long to actually for me to track it down, I'm still not going to edit it out since I can upload really long videos I'll just put a little uh, tooltip type thing up here telling you at what point in the video I actually found the error so if you don't actually want to watch the process of me trying to track it down all right, I'm not gonna bother with the chest because we know it works I am gonna go back into my finder and open it up again and we have it this time I'm not sure why I did not save last time but we know it is there this time, so let's take a look. It should go right to the game, which isn't quite what we wanted. If you remember at the beginning of our documentation, we wanted uh, it to present us with a menu to either load that character up, and if we click that button, then it brings us to our, our first level. Or we have the option of hitting the delete button, which of course deletes the character and automatically loads us up into the character generator. So... Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more debugging. This tutorial is pretty much over. Uh, if you want to keep watching the last few minutes, I'm just going to run a few more tests. I'm going to start it back up again. And it's still finding everything that it needs to find. I'm going to scroll up to the top. There is a ver key. Yeah, the player. Uh, so it finds the tag. It has a value. The level's ready. And of course, these are the meshes that I have equipped. And I'll do it one more time, even though nothing should change technically. I'm actually going to clear the console. Even though I have clear on play, I'm just, I don't know, just OCD, OCD about clicking it. So yeah, so it's detecting the key. Now I'm going to select the camera, clear pref, start it up. And there is no key, so it automatically brings me in again. All right. So I will make my character, blah, 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 click, click, click. Uh, there might be one point where I actually have to put the version key in again. Uh, so we just keep clicking, click, 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 and create. And we're in. We'll stop. Hit the camera. Turn off clear pref. Start it back up. 
and it brings us to our game world. So everything does seem to be working well now. Okay, well, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one where we'll keep working away at this little uh, main menu system. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.